Hey everyone, Josh here with a look at another Star Wars toy. And today we're looking at a three-figure set from the Power of the Force collection. The name of this set is called Cantina Showdown. And I'm sure everyone rec recognizes these guys. Um, now what these sets were designed to do, they came out in the, or this one came out in the late 90s, and what they were trying to do is they were trying to recreate a famous scene from the movie and so of course this is the cantina scene where Obi-Wan removes Ponda Baba's uh, uh, arm for him and I'm sure a lot of you guys may remember that the this is Dr. Evanzan and Ponda Baba and they actually made a small cameo in Rogue One. If you remember, they actually accosted our hero. <clears throat> and now, the way these sets would work, when you would actually take them out of the, the box, you would have to get a little cardboard insert out and actually have to cut it out, and it creates this background for the figures. So I'll show you how that works. And what you do is it just pops out, and the base, and when it's in the packaging, you take it out, there's like a dotted line, and you cut along the dotted line so it will fit into the stand, and it's just supposed to be a background for when you're displaying your figures, and the holes you see are actually where they had the figures wired in, in the packaging, so they wouldn't come out, but... Here you can see it's just a shot of the cantina, and there's the actual bartender. But all this designed to be is just a nice little background for when you're displaying your figures, and it slides snap, slides right into the stand. But then the figures do come off, and this guy does not want to come off. But here you go. I'm gonna move this background out of the way because it messes with the camera. It doesn't like focus in. But here we go. Here's Dr. Evans. Evan Zan, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing any of these guys' names. I'm doing my best. I just want to show you guys what he looks like on all three sides, or all sides, all the way around. And see if we can get a close up of his face. Because it is pretty nasty. There you go. And the d gun does come out of his hand. There you go. He's just got a little blaster pistol. Nothing fancy. And it just pops right out. No problem. This guy does move at the head. Just a little wiggle. Shoulder movement. Waist and hip. So, there you go. Pretty basic figure. And he does hold the gun pretty well. It stays in his hand pretty good. So, that's a good deal. Alright, and Ponda Baba. Let's pop him off the... Sorry, reach and cross. Don't reach over the table. Alright. And here he is. And same thing, he come, just comes with a basic little blaster pistol. Comes right out of his hand, no problem. And I don't recall... I, if these guys actually had pistols in the canteen or not. I don't think they did. But I just want to show you guys what he looks like from all sides. And this guy's in an action pose. And yeah, his his legs are going to be stuck like this if you purchase this. You've got one that's kind of straight and one that's bent fairly well. And same thing with his arms. They're in this like action pose. And they're stuck like that. So, And the jacket is... Got some flexibility to it, but it does not come off of him. But let's check him out. He's got a little bit of head wiggle, not much. And he's got shoulder joint movement. Both arms. Waist movement. And he can bend his legs at the hips to sit down. So that's good. All right. See, and to get his gun back in here, no problem. Just slides right in. Give it a little twist. Good deal. And of course, finally, the man himself is an Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. 
It's very similar to the, the single figure that you buy from the same collection. Of course, he's in a little bit different pose. He's got his arms bent, as you can see. And I actually, the robe does come off of him fairly easy as well. But the kind of silly thing is that when you take his robe off, the, the sleeves remain on. So just be aware of that. And the lightsaber does come out of his hand. I'll show you that here in a second. But you can get a look at it a little bit cl up closer. It's easier when he holds it. <laughs> but it just pops right out, no problem. And it's just a pretty standard Obi-Wan figure, but he is in a little bit of an action pose, as you can see. So if you want a, a Obi-Wan figure that's not quite so awkwardly standing and you want to look for the individual one it's packaged for sale well, head movement waist movement hip and shoulder and let's see how difficult this robe is to get back on pretty simple just slides right over top of him and let's pop that lightsaber back in his hand and there you have it. Obi-Wan is back together. And we'll go ahead and real quick before we put it all back together, I just want to show you guys what the base looks like. You, you can see the actual notch that's cut out for the cardboard backing and the holes that you see drilled in it or when the, it was in the packaging, the figure's feet were actually wired down so they didn't fall over. And it just snaps right back in there, and you have your little display with a background. So you just insert the figure's feet over the pegs. And actually, I think I'm putting his wrong foot on there. I believe it's this one. Oh, come on there, Obi-Wan. There we go. He goes right there. All right. And finally, the doctor. All right. All back together. Alright, and there you have it everyone. This is the Cantina Showdown, is the name of the set, from the Power of the Force collection. And thanks for watching everyone. Bye.